Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to talk about a very important topic in the game, which is finishing. Playing good tactics and creating chances is nothing without a good finishing. That is why I decided to make this video, and I can assure you that it's going to help you so much with scoring more goals. I made analysis on every possible situation in front of goal, about what to do and what you should not do. So just sit tight and to finish, you really need this video. You also need this video if you lose too many one-on-one -on -one against the goalkeeper. If you rush to play shot always, if you can't change the decision that is already in your mind, if you make bad decision most time, and lastly, if you can't make decision quickly. First and most important lesson to learn when finishing is knowing the ability of the player you want to use to finish. Make sure you know the strong and weak foot of the player. Make sure you know if the player have a good weak foot ability. I'm going to give you one example now. This is actually a good position for a right foot player to take a shot. He's free and no defender behind him. But unfortunately, Kamavinga is not a right foot player, and he only has three-star weak foot ability. But my opponent took the shot anyway. After seeing the result, he will blame the player for been bad not knowing that he's the one that made a mistake. Players with four or five star weak foot ability can still finish very well with their weak foot, but anything below that is error. So that's the first thing you should know when finishing. Your player ability, now I'm going to teach you how you can finish every time without using your player weak foot. Nuno Mendes. Now I want to score from this position. The player I want to use is left footer, and he's also a defender. That means he won't have good weak foot ability, even good finishing ability. If I press the shoot in direction only, he will shoot the ball with his right foot and miss the goal. So all you have to do in this position is, Hold L2 or LT, then press shoot. For the lead now. Oh, it's in! An early opener to get the game going. The direction you play the ball to, and how you play the ball will determine the foot that your player with use. Watch this. Hakimi. Now, what can Lionel Messi do? Remember the objective is to use the strong foot always. If I shoot the ball to the far post, he will shoot with his right foot. So for the player to use his strong foot, I have to play the shot to the near post here. You see that it looks like the goalkeeper have high chance of saving the ball in the near post. But trust me, he didn't. That is why you should not finish goals by pressing shoot in direction only. Hold L2 or LT and tap the shoot button. You're already close to the goalkeeper, so all you need is just a tap. Don't hold the shoot button, just tap it, so that your player can play a low ground shot. This will make it impossible for the keeper to save. If you play a high level shot, there's high possibility that the goalkeeper will save it. Learning how to use R1 and L2 to finish is the best thing ever. I'm still going to talk about main function of those two buttons before the end of this video. But before we move to that, I'm going to talk about composure in finishing, how to finish one-on-one -on -one perfectly, and how to gauge your shots. Now let's talk about composure. Been patient and calm in front of goal. That act alone can improve your finishing ability, and it will save you from missing a lot of chance. It's an act that you must add to your gameplay. Look at this one-on-one -on -one situation. I have already beat the goalkeeper and the post is staring at me. Of course all your instincts here will be to shoot the ball immediately, and I also shoot the ball. But the moment I see where the situation is going, I cancel the shot immediately and get a better shooting option. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Watch this. This situation is even more complicated than the other one. The only motive I have here is to shoot to this side of the post once I move closer to the goalkeeper. But I found out that my opponent already predicted that, and he has moved the goalkeeper to that side. Which means that is a no-go area for me again. But guess what? I'm still going to shoot to that side, but I just need to do some quick work. Awareness also matter in finishing. Be aware of the goalkeeper position. Be aware of the defenders. If you just focus on your player that wanted to shoot, and you didn't focus on the goalkeeper too, you will not be able to know if he has move or not. It's 
He's in with a chance. And it's there for him. Here's another example of composed finish. If I press shoot immediately, the player may use his head or try to play volley with his weak foot, which has very low chance of scoring. So I control the ball and have an easy finish. And if you're trying to play shot, watch the players in front of you to avoid blocked shot. And make sure you practice and master how to cancel shot when needed. Before we move to the next one, I need to tell you this real quick. Whenever you're trying to play shot and there is opponent marking you from behind, if there's if another option for you other than playing the shot, do that instead. Because if a player is marking you from behind, it will affect the power and accuracy of your shot. The delivery. Will it happen for him here? And a goal is in. <laughs> Running room in the wide position. And the cross into the middle. Oh, now I'm going to talk about one-on-one -on -one finish against the goalkeeper. There are different things you can do in one-on-one -on -one situation. If you're in one-on-one -on -one situation against the goalkeeper, first thing you should look for is passing options. That is the first and easiest way to finish one-on-one. -on -one. Make sure there's no available defender to intercept the pass. You know there can't be passing option every time you're facing the goalkeeper, so there are other methods you can use to score easily. One of the methods is dribbling the goalkeeper using ball roll. This is a very easy and effective method. Before you perform the ball roll, Slow down and make sure you're not sprinting. Then move your right analog to up or down, wherever you wish to roll the ball to. It's in, and it was always going to go in. Another method is using body feint to dribble the keeper. To perform this body feint, move the right analog down and up, or move it up and down. Depend on the side you're going, and make sure you do it quickly. Another method is using the Ronaldo chop to dribble the goalkeeper. You should use this only if you're on side of the post. Don't use this method in the center of the goal post. Hold L2 or LT, then press shoot and X, while flicking left analog to the direction you're going. So to dribble the keeper, make sure you flick the direction away from him, or else this is what will happen. Now I'm going to talk about why L2 and R1 is so important when finishing. With the ball confidently. Oh, might be. And it's in! Finishing goals while holding L2 or R1 will increase the accuracy and power of the shot in close range. And it's a must that you use the player's strong foot. If the goalkeeper is in center of the goalpost, learn the habit of shooting to the near post instead of going for the far post. And for you to get a more accurate shot in this position, hold R1 or RB and press shoot. But if the player is a left footer, hold L2 or LT then press shoot. And it's in to put them in front. Now watch what he did without L2. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Oh, breezing past him. You can see that he shoot the ball with his weak foot and missed the goal. Well, plenty of Litmanen with space to attack. Lays it into the area now. What can he do? Moving the ball forward with purpose. Could be! And the keeper's the tackle that was needed. And angling it back. Still could be dangerous. Now once more at 3 0. The crowd urging him to shoot. Right here. Messi. He's produced a masterful performance up to this point. 10 out of 10. Well, he's been outstanding, hasn't he? He's taken his goals so well, but it's everything about his play that's quality. Wouldn't surprise me if he gets his hat-trick. Oh, goal here, maybe! Oh, now watch yeah. the finishing with L2. And cuts inside. Messi! The game has been... starts amidst a dominant first-half performance. The scoreline tells you all you need to know. Good work to beat the challenge. And they've scored. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. Promising position, this. It's there. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Opportunity here. And there it is. Maybe room here for the counter-attack. 
Messi looking for the through ball. Oh, and it goes! Was he in hand? Let me know if you have any question. I will be happy to help you. Son. And still looking for space. Oh! This looks promising. And a chance for the lead. Oh, a goal! Well, it just petered out. Oh, this looks useful. Chance to take the lead. Options available in the middle. There. Son goes for goal. Good idea. And a goal. Vision from Lionel Messi. Shot from long range. Oh. Son. On to Son. Drifting in off the flank. Oh, my. And today, Sue. Well, he's just a natural goal scorer. Ice cold when he gets into a goal scoring position. The defence are going to have to be. And that is. On to Payor. Son. Son! Oh, and it goes! Sensation! Good vision. Oh, it's easy. With the. Surely the equaliser. Oh! Chloe Kelly. Good pull one back here. And a goal is in. Good technique displayed. The danger not over. And thwarting. Goes for goal! Oh, whoa, whoa! There is no better feeling. Nunez. Cut back nicely.